set the base address, TurboPak 5, on our DMX controller, we set all channels to be zero to start with. Then we set channel 1 to what we want the base address to be in the servo pack that we're trying to set the address on. In this case, we're going to, because this comes from the factory set as 1, let's set it to say, for example, 6. And we'd want to set this to 6 because a first servo pack we might have would occupy channels 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we want to set our second, if, if this were a second, servo pack starting with the base address of 6. So the way that we do that is we increase the value on our DMX controller, the first address, to a value of 6. This can sometimes be touchy. Sometimes if you slide it radically and then hover in on your position, you can get better response. As you can see, I've got this set here to value 6. We've set channel 1 to 6. All of the other options that are available in the servo pack, we're just going to leave them in their default positions. So we've set channel 1 in the DMX controller to 6, and we've set all the other channels to 0. We remove the power from the servo pack. Then the small button, we're holding it, we apply power to the servo pack. And you can let go of the button. Now, the base address of the servo pack is now set to 6. As you can see, our first channel is now 6, whereas before it was 1. 1 through 5 no longer have any effect. We now are operating channel 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Address. Let's change the base address so that the first channel is going to be slider number 9. Put all DMX channels to 0 to start with. DMX channel 1, that's our ID channel, we're going to move this up to 9. nine. Remove the power from the servo pack. Press and hold the set button. Apply power to the servo pack, release the set button, and that's it. Now when we move our first slider, which is now 9, as you can see, this is our first channel, not 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. 